Education of the faith starts at home, and churchmilitant.tv is here to help. Please consider signing up your family for a churchmilitant.tv premium account for just $10 a month. Your family deserves the truth. Hello, I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. On Friday, the Jackson City School District in Ohio agreed to keep a painting of Jesus Christ off school property and pay a $95,000 fine after facing months of legal pressure from the Freedom From Religion Foundation and the ACLU. The organizations claimed having the picture, which has been hanging in Jackson High School or the district's middle school since 1947, was unconstitutional and charged that students and those visiting, quote, will continue to suffer permanent, severe, and irreparable harm and injury, end quote. The picture had been in the school's Hall of Honor display, which existed to promote famous historical figures. The U.S. Supreme Court on Monday rejected a bid to reestablish the ban on sodomy in Virginia, brought by Attorney General Ken Cuccinelli. Cuccinelli's spokesman said Virginia's law couldn't be used against consenting adults acting in private. It only applied to offenses committed against minors, against non-consenting or incapacitated adults, or in public. A member of the Vatican's press office has announced that the Pope's recent interview with La Repubblica's editor was not taped, nor were there notes taken, which calls into question the accuracy of the interview. While the press office member did say that the text was overall faithful to what the Pope said, it might not have reflected his exact wording, especially in recounting the Pope's mystical experience after his election. It should be noted that before publishing, the text was sent to Pope Francis, who did approve it. The Vatican has announced that after the three-day-long meetings with Pope Francis and the Cardinals, the meetings will reconvene in early December and another in February. The Vatican is not issuing formal announcements about the discussions of the Pope and his special advisors. However, Father Lombardi has disclosed that the group is planning a thorough overhaul of the structure of the Roman Curia. A campaign to ban late-term abortions beginning at 20 weeks after fertilization begins today in Albuquerque, New Mexico. On November 19th, Albuquerqueans will vote on the Pain-Capable Unborn Child Protection Ordinance, which 54% of the people support, according to a recent poll conducted by the Albuquerquean Journal. New Mexico is one of nine states that permit post-viability abortions, lacking safety standards or informed consent laws. There are only four late-term abortion clinics in the entire United States, and the largest of those four is located in Albuquerque. I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael talks about the rest of his interview with his father. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends. And may God bless you. Sick of TV and its cultural rot? Tune in to churchmilitant.tv and become a premium subscriber where you will get access to fresh shows with solid church doctrine. As a premium subscriber, you'll get hundreds of hours of programming, which includes investigative shows, catechesis, apologetics, church history lessons, and a lot more. What are you waiting for? Forget the bad television and dive into the riches of the Catholic faith for only $10 a month.